Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Geeks and Gamers Play and the Bayonetta drama that Helena started just continues. And now we have something that really puts her in a pretty negative light in my opinion. So this comes from Jason Schreier, who I gotta be honest, I'm not really a fan of in all honesty. But he definitely has connections within the gaming industry. So a lot of the time the stuff he says regarding, you know, what's going on in the industry does end up to have some validity to it. I'm not going to go over the whole thread because he gets into some stuff about the social media age and all that type of crap. However, Bayonetta's Helena Taylor reportedly declined recast after after calling for boycott. Now, we've seen what her initial video was and how she alleged she was offered only $4,000 for the entire thing. But according to some new information, that might not exactly be true. So a new report claims that Bayonetta voice actor Helena Taylor was offered more money than she had previously disclosed that she was recast after lengthy negotiations with Platinum Games. So on October 15th, uh, she called out Platinum Games and Nintendo for immoral conduct, revealing that she will not be voicing the character in the upcoming third installment due to only being offered $4,000 as a sum to voice the role. As a result, Taylor has been calling on fans of the series to boycott the game with the situation now bringing to the forefront the larger discourse surrounding the role of voice actors and compensation for their work. Most recently, Jason Schreier reported at Bloomberg that Platinum Games had originally wanted to hire Taylor for five or more sessions, each paying three to $4,000 for four hours of work at the studio. Now that's per session. So she said in her original video that it was a sum total of $4,000, but it looks like the evidence might be pointing towards, no, that was per recording session, and we had about four or five sessions we wanted to get out of her. Now, that is an extremely generous offer, way better than what she alleged the offer was. So Schreier's sources then added that Taylor refused the offer, wishing to negotiate for a six-figure sum, as well as residuals on the game. Now, that is ridiculous. If that is true, she is asking way too fucking much there. And I'm someone that believes that $4,000 as a base pay for a sum total for her is too low. But what she's asking there is absolutely fucking ridiculous. And if this offer that is being said was, you know, three to $4,000 per session, that is fair. That is more than fair. That is extremely generous on their behalf. So Platinum Games declined and were unable to comment on an arrangement after lengthy negotiations with the company, uh, then beginning auditions for a new actor to take the role. And then, of course, Jennifer Hale has stepped in as the protagonist, and she has acknowledged the controversy online, which we talked about in a previous video on this channel. So Shrey also reported that Platinum Games offered Taylor the chance to still feature in the game as a cameo appearance, and were going to offer her the fee of one session. However, she allegedly turned down that offer as well. So it looks like they kept trying to go, hey, you know, we understand that without you, we wouldn't be in this position. So, you know, we want to give you something as a thank you and keep you involved. But she just wanted way too much. So the Bloomberg report then went up to offer uh, Taylor's reaction to these claims with the voice actor claiming that this recounting is, quote, an absolute lie in an email and adding that Platinum is, quote, trying to save their ass and their game. I would like to put this whole bloody franchise behind me, quite frankly, and get on with my life in the theatre, she wrote. So right there, that's terrible. That is the worst thing that I think she could have said there. In her initial video, she's talking about how she is Bayonetta and how important the fan base is. And she's calling upon the Bayonetta fan base to boycott the game. And now she's saying in an email to them that she wants to put the whole franchise behind her. So she doesn't really give a fuck then, does she? Now, of course, as of right now, a lot of this is he say, she say type stuff. But if this initial offer that they gave to her of three to $4,000 per session is true, that is an incredible deal. And I don't know why she would turn that down. Well, the answer is greed. But I don't know if we'll ever find out the full story, but all we can do is keep an eye on it and see how it all plays out. So you let me know what you think of this in the comment section down below. Be sure to subscribe to Geeks and Gamers Play and check out geeksandgamers.com. And I'll see you all in the next video.